Okay, so, whoa, honeybee. And that's the wasp. Hello, get away, get away, go. Hey, whoa, whoa, wait, what the hell? Come on, man. It's November 2nd, why are you doing that? Okay, that's gonna be on the outtakes. Um, this is supposed to be, the sun was out, but that monstrosity just covered it. Look that thing. One big disc. Uh, close encounters time, whatever. Um, I'm trying to give you an update on the work that was done to the Jeep. Um, my prior video before going uh, to get the undercarriage uh, taken care of, as well as some other bits and pieces. Um, this is the finished product. So, to real quick to illustrate the uh, issues with the hinges, and I did make a uh, uh, put it into the video um, as to the problem, which, as it was explained to me, Mopar, yeah, this side is a lot worse. Mopar used aluminum hinges, so that's not rust, that's oxidation forming underneath the paint. So eventually that is going to start to chip. Um, so that they could not address um, without taking completely off. And, uh, oh, here comes the sun, perfect. So without taking them completely off and repainting them, which would be an exorbitant amount of money, I'm just gonna leave them go. Uh, but they did, and I didn't think they were gonna be able to, they did shave the rust off the edges of this rock rail that came with the um, AEV Call of Duty edition. Um, uh, they did a nice job. They used, what I'll show you in a second, uh, the undercarriage coat, the paint and coat that they uh, did from soup to nuts. So let's get under here, hopefully. With the sun now being out, we can, we can give you a view of this. Maybe not. I'm trying to adjust the exposure. There we go. So look at that. That is black. That looks better than it looked coming off the showroom floor. Get a little closer in here. Right. Okay, so they coated everything. Oh, so they coated everything except for the shocks, obviously, and the exhaust. Again, for obvious reasons, heat, etc. But everything got coated. And let's see if I can get under here and show you without getting to oh geez say hey, it's still actually sticky can that focus it's not focusing anyway you can kind of see there that all I do is grab on it and it's still sticky after about five days so thank god it's 75 degrees on November 2nd here about the rust belt but as you can probably hopefully see if it will adjust there we go they coated everything even the springs so this and then a shot down the line hopefully yeah there you go there's a good shot they coated the part that was I was most concerned with which is the skid plate for the gas tank they pulled that down sprayed that it's still gonna have whatever uh, uh, whatever issues uh, hang on uh, 
all right there we go there's focus so you're still gonna have or at least in my case because this was pre-existing it wasn't rust really it's just de uh, decomposition uh, uh, so that they treated that with acid and then treated it with you can still see the uh, drip it's still like I said earlier in the video it's still not dry uh, so I'm fortunate that we're having some warm days here and real quick there's another thing that I had them install was the more pedal m-o-r-e mountain off-road what the hell is it Mountain Off-Road Enterprises. Uh, so M-O-R-E. So this was because I could not find a rock rail that hugged the body as well as this. And looking for a replacement for this, you were looking at $850 average, which was insane for a rock rail that wasn't functional as a step and is minimally functional for rocks. Not that I do rocks. So this was a nice compromise because it's spring loaded and if you need to, which I probably will never need to, unless I decide to paint it, you can pull the pin and remove the actual step and the base stays mounted to the frame. So it's actually pretty cool. Uh, but I'll do an, its own video. Uh, I'll do a separate video just on this pedal, but anyway, let me jump cut real quick But there you go. There's some more uh, Good view of the coating Inside and out uh, so all that all the drainage holes If you stick if I, if I were to stick my finger in there I can tell that that is coated as well. So this is going to take about a month to fully dry because they don't bake it. They even did the, uh, let's see if I can, uh, sorry, I've got to kneel up here. They even did the inside of the uh, wheel well with this uh, paint, with this coating. In addition to, there you go, good old EB. Um, in addition to everything else, look at that, it's black, pitch black. Almost everything is coated. Well, 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 well worth it. Even though only myself and those of you, hi, those of you who are watching this video are ever gonna know uh, that that's part of my mods on this Jeep. I'm hoping that this will enable me to be a little less worried about the dangers of rust that we all experience those of us that live above the rust, the rust belt in the winter and when you go mudding and all that mud holds all that moisture if you can't get it completely clean um, so that's about it um, given that I lost the sun let me try and look for at the front They didn't do the skid plate, which doesn't really matter. Um, but there we go, sorry about all the shakiness happening here. Trying to focus, you can't really see because of the sun and the angle, but everything is black. Let's see, jump cut. Here we go. So again, the uh, track bar, sway bar, the, uh, it did not, however, touch the uh, steering stabilizer again because that is a shock. So they can't, moving parts can't coat that, but everything else is coated pitch black. That's crazy. There you can see what I believe is the um, 
uh, skid plate for the oil. Um, it's under there, there you go. Coated that. So again, the only thing that they didn't coat was the exhaust, of course manifold, and going all the way back. Um, that's it. So, hope you dig it. I mean, look at that. even the inside of the, uh, with the wheel, the, the actual the brake, the, the brakes, to the point where I actually, actually, I got a, uh, an ABS, uh, idiot light. Um, when I was driving at home, uh, it did go away after I turned the engine off and reset it. So I'm uh, hoping that it was just one of those things that burnt off. So, but cool. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about what they did that I didn't cover, let me know. So that's it. So she's not getting any more money put into her this year.